Welcome. We are in the middle. Well, we're starting our bathroom right now. First thing I did was I removed all the silicone around the bathtub. Removed the fixtures. That one I haven't removed yet. Me too. But also the toilet's ready to be removed. Water is disconnected. As you can see, I covered all the water spots because I don't want any debris getting into it. Also closed the drain down below right there and I just need to finish taking the silicone on this guy but the crazy part is is that is what is actually holding the sink in place so I don't want to do it until I'm ready to take this out of the space which will be in just a minute say goodbye to the tub and to start, we started removing the tile from the areas, and this was a lot of work and pretty messy. We discovered some issues that the previous owners had done, which was not the best, but we fixed it up. And this is what we were left with after. You can see that there are some holes now in the walls, and that's because they had added some drywall but did it incorrectly after that we're going to add some gap filler to the window itself because we had an old window in place and then a new window and so now we're finally removing that old window so we can see the beautiful new window and we need to fill that in with the gap filler let's talk about cleaning the bathtub for this so what i've done is i've just sprayed the outside edge with some cleaner and I am using the razor blade to scrape it. And as you can see, I've got this side pretty much done. I'm also having to shim out the walls a little bit to be able to add the drywall in so it'll be more level rather than putting kind of two sheets of drywall as you can see i've done it over here this one's ready to go that one has quite a few shims and this one only has one that was needed to be the certain level of the actual walls currently i know that's going to make my walls not square but that's what i'm working with so that's what i have to continue so after that we are going well i'm going to plaster over this wall or walls there's more than one oh and for the sink i did add the brace cut this out so that way i can reuse it so now i will just screw that back on and start plastering all those wonderful holes and like I said, we put new drywall in and shimmed it out to give us the most even walls possible. Then I went to scraping off the walls to give us a clean as possible finish. After that, I started mudding everything. And if you're curious about tutorials on this, I do have links to all of these tutorials in the description below. After that, I installed my favorite lights. These are ones that can be installed anywhere over like anything. They're awesome. I'll link to those below as as well and they're super easy to install so i added new lights to give us a better lighting in this bathroom because there wasn't a whole lot of lighting before and that was one of the requirements my husband made after that i did prime and paint the ceiling and the walls and afterwards we are ready for the waterproofing of the shower plus also the floor for this bathroom renovation At this point, the bathroom is all ready for tile. And to start, we're gonna start with the floor tile because you wanna put that in before you put 
on the bathroom or the tub surround tile. That's what we're doing here. So I'm going to hurry and quickly install that and then we'll install the tile in the shower as well. I want to quickly note that this is really just an overview of my bathroom makeover. I mentioned before that there are videos on each of these, so you can find videos on patching those walls, on tiling plus grouting a floor, and waterproofing a floor plus waterproofing the tub, and tiling and grouting the tub. Plus, I also did a patch job, a paint patch job on our tub as well. And from start to finish of this project, it took me about two months, and that included some bad weather, but the patching of the walls themselves took so much longer than I anticipated. And so just remember that projects do take longer, but as long as you continue and finish them, it's awesome. Plus this whole renovation cost me about $2,000. So for this bathroom makeover, we put in $2,000 and most of that was for the tile. A lot of the other supplies were things that I had on hand, but for $2,000, you can have a beautiful bathroom makeover.